Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a Valentine's Day animation to your Adobe Muse website uh, using the particles.js widget from museforyoushop.com. So as you can see here, we have uh, a few hearts floating up, and it could just be you know an interesting animation uh, to add for Valentine's Day. Uh, so this is done actually very simply. Um, you can get access to the widget at museforyoushop.com and then you can click on the pop-up here and the particles.js widget Valentine's Day edition is right here so you can just click on it and then you can click on preview to preview the widget. So I'll show you how to do this really quick in Adobe Muse. So I'll open up my Adobe Muse website and once you install the widget it'll go into your library panel. Um, the file comes in a zip file so you just extra extract the zip file and then double click on the .mulib file to ins install the widget and it'll go to your library panel. If you don't see your library panel you can just go to window and click on library. So I'll scroll down to the particles.js widget Valentine's Day edition. I have it here and I'll just click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And that's basically it. Now with the widget comes uh, two files. There's uh, a file of this heart and a file of of um, the red heart and the pink heart. So to add those files, you just go into the widget and you click on the widget options. And then here where it says select an image for shape, you click here and then in that zip file, you'll find these two files. You'll find uh, muse for you Valentine 1 and muse for you Valentine 2. So I'm gonna double click on Valentine 2 for this first one. And then I'll just bring this first widget down and I'll just grab the widget in the background. I'll grab this one. I'll click on that and then here for select an image for shape, I'll select this one and select Valentine 1. Okay. Now uh, these widgets already know where to look on my computer, that's why they were already in there, or the images were already in there, uh, but for when you first put it in, it's going to have to find those images, so that's why you have to go back in and re-add the images. So now if I go to File, Preview, Page, and Browser we can see the hearts are, are there, they're floating up. And I've set all the settings in the widget options uh, so that they move in that specific way. Um, if you did wanna uh, change the options, you can. I do have a particles.js widget video that shows you uh, how to use all of these options. So now I'll add an image in the background. So I'll go to browser fill, I'll click on add image, and I'll select this image here. And there we have the image and I'll scale to fill, position it in the center. And initially the scrolling was on, but you can uncheck scrolling so the image doesn't get larger with the, uh, the size or the height of the website. So now I'll go to File, Preview, Page, and Browser. And there we have it. We have the image in the background and we have the hearts floating up. And then I'll just add some text over here and I'll say Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll style it a little bit. I'll select um, here this font called Good Kitty. I'll set it to white, the font, and I'll set it to, let's do 60. Yeah, that's good. Set the text box, text box a little bit wider, and I'll position it in the center. So now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And there we have it, Happy Valentine's Day, and we have the hearts here from the particles.js widget. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and you can click here on the pop-up and here you can subscribe and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here and use PayPal. Or you can purchase the widget individually by clicking on the widget. And here you can click on add to cart or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Okay, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.